Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to more DayZ. My name is Raven from the Sky. Let's do. Whew! You. <laughs> it scared me. I thought that was a player. Y'all ever see a zombie run at you full speed, catch you off guard, and thought you think it's a player coming at you? Your heart skips a beat. Huh? Y'all ever had. That ever happened to you? A, a zombie's running, and you think it's a player, and your heart skips a beat. Like mine just did. Sun's out. Stop raining. Might wring out these clothes. Uh, I think now, since that update, your clothes weigh even more if you're drenched. And every piece of clothing I own is like at least damp because we've run out in a, in a, a storm. So it'd probably be best if I wring this out. How can you pass up the KA though? Ha <laughs> ha! Shoot, blah! One of the best rifles ever in the game. I don't really come across the. I mean, I've come across the M16 before. I don't really come across like the M4. I've come across the M16 and the. Uh, what's that? The AUG, the AUG? I think it's called something else in this game. And I've seen the LAR only a couple of times. I think it's in a couple of videos. <laughs> I took it and dropped it off in one of the houses. But I, I, I know it's gone by now. That was weeks, of, weeks ago. gotten here yeah it's hot got my fan going the only thing is when you got your fan going playing the game unless you sound horde can't really hear nobody coming up on you it's the only bad thing let me bring out some of these clothes can't ring this out can I It helped a little bit. I, mean, I could cut. I could cut and go up, go up the middle in this town, but I would have to make a turn. Instead of Cut up this center instead of going all the way round. Remember, I got I got taken down in one of the, right here, right around this area. It was either streaming or recording, and I had a I had a Vega. And uh, I saw it when I was coming. It was it was during a downpour, a storm. I saw a dude run across, so I just I start I crept. I said, "Let me use the trees for cover." Evidently, somebody saw me because boom! I think he got me from one of the windows. Then when I, my character woke up, I was running towards me. But by the time I took out the Vega, nope. I might cut up. If you go up this way. Mecca is three miles, but 
but I can, you can kind of cut up and go this way, though. And it would put you... Of course you do. your butt down. It will put you in the middle of, of Ned Nobo or whatever the heck that town's name is. Put you, you come up by that church. I did that before. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you could. I think so. Yeah, because we're just one town behind. I, th I, th uh, if I keep straight, I don't think. I haven't, I haven't traveled this way in so long. This way. I've always gone to that next town and then went up. So I can't remember if you have to make a turn or not. I think you do, though. Oh, yes, the lodge. Okay. You got a chest holster, though. Damaged. I'm out of here. I'm not sticking around. Somebody did that. The zombies don't spawn inside indoors. Pro tip.
Nothing. Same person that trapped those zombies in that freaking house probably already done been through here and looted the place. Probably. Can't really say for sure, right? <coughs> uh, you gotta love the spring, though. You have the random hot days where it's like in the upper 80s. And if you live in that's in like an in, in, in an apartment or your condom. <laughs> If you live in the condom, right? Your apartment or your condom? Condo. Excuse me. I'm sorry. And the top floor or the higher your floor, the, the, the hotter it gets. Your, uh, or even in the house, if your room is on the top floor. Like, um, the, the higher it is, the hotter it gets, right? Because heat rises. So, it's like, you got to love those random hot days in the spring versus... At least you know they're coming in the summer where it's consistent. It's like the weather is crazy. Seems like it's crazier in the spring than the summer. You may have to worry about the occasion, depending on where you're at. You have to worry about the occasional uh, bad, severe thunderstorm here and there. Which is needed, you know, to feed the plants, feed the vegetation, cool it off. The rain cools it off, washes the pollen out, and things like that. But uh, here it's like, it's cold one day and hot the next, and then the day after that, it's like 60 mile an hour winds. Like, what the WTF, right? <laughs> like, what, 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 what do you, you got your fan on in April? You're recording in April. It's April, isn't it? Yeah, because it's one of them random hot days. Like I said, when you're, when you're elevated, it's like 81 outside, but it's like 86 wherever you're at if you're elevated because the heat rises. 91, if it's 91 degrees outside, it's going to feel like almost 100 in your house or close to it. Or at the very least, it's going to feel like 91 in your house. Or wherever you're at because you're up, they have Novo. Yeah, okay, so we do have to make a turn. BOP is that way. And I headed to BOP. Although I'm I'm tempted to We keep straight Nabonobo and it's gonna bring us out like on that street. Let me let me put a little something. I forgot about this little house up here. A little farm. Pull something in there. See what it's, sometimes you can find, you know, seeds or whatnot. Matter of fact, it's the best best place to look. You know, for seeds. You know, to replant. The heck was that noise? Let's see what we got here. We don't have anything. Seeing if I had seen if I had any seeds. Got some pumpkin. Yeah, so you don't have to. I thought so. You don't have to go all the way. Then cut up if you don't want to. But if you do that, it'll put you right. You're not like going around like me, almost like a detour. You're uh, almost almost like it is a detour. It puts you right at the entrance of that town versus we're going to come out in the middle. You know, by where the church is.
I'm not gonna say it's the best way to travel, but it's like one of the fastest is by car. If you can find a car, uh, get it fixed up. That's one of your best ways and fast way to travel. You're not like killing your hunger and thirst bar, burning all these calories, jogging and running at full speed all over the map. You'll save a lot more hunger. I, I realized that. I didn't think about that before because we're so used to just jogging and running. I feel like you save a lot more or preserve a lot more hunger and thirst if you were uh, if you were driving around or riding around. I think they need to add a motorcycle. I think like a vintage bike. I, I, I feel like I saw that in somebody's thumbnail. Going to BOP, BOP, that's like heading back. Skate helmet. I mean, some head protection is better than no head protection, but I take my chances, as you can see. Well, you're an advanced player. You can do that. Wink, wink. I like these chill sessions. Let me know. Just chilling, playing DayZ, talking. I have to say, I offer a lot more commentary playing this than any other game, really. And I've seen some of the comments that, man, hey, little little pro tip, my dude. You need to offer more commentary, like what you're playing, why you're playing it, such and such. And that's cool. Thanks for the feedback. I'm always open to constructive criticism. There's a difference between that and hate. And, but um, I do love what I play. I love what I do. And in some cases, most cases, I do explain why I'm playing it. But if I can't, you know, ain't nothing to say, nothing's to say. I'm not one of these YouTubers that can go 100 miles a minute for like eight hours. Sorry, not sorry. I'm me, and I'm going to be that way. Uniquely me. I'm not going to try to be someone else or something I'm not, which that's not what people are saying, but I'm just explaining why it's like when it, like when i feel like you know like right now chilling talking to you guys cool got a lot to say especially when playing this there's always commentary about why what you should do how you should travel you know at least based on from my experience you know i always say probably sound like a broken record at this point i always say don't get wrapped up over the loot stuff like that it's easy but some other games nah <clears throat> Especially some of the other series, AAA series. I just I didn't offer much commentary with uh, Dead Space. Uh, what's that? Uh, what was that? Hi-Fi Rush. Didn't offer much with that. But I still enjoyed it nonetheless. But yeah, I... I Back to what I was saying, I can't go 100 beats a minute. Nah, I'm not gonna try to. When it comes to me, I get, you know, I can rattle on, especially if it's something that I really, really enjoy and passionate about a game. But, nope. Not gonna try to be someone else's like, you can steal the, what is it? I saw it online. You take the recipe, but the, the sauce don't taste the same or something like that. <laughs> it's like, just be you.
If you lay back, don't really talk much quiet, that's cool. There's plenty of YouTubers and streamers who've blown up that way, just being themselves, just chilling out, laid back, not talking a thousand beats a minute. But uh, they engage with their audience, which is another thing. That's true, too. I do. It's like engaging when you provide more commentary. Let's see. There we go. Like if I would have went that other way, it would have put me at the entrance of that the base there and the entrance of that town. We're going to come up in the middle. And it seems like every time that's a gas zone now. I used to that used to be a nice pit stop. That and uh not Kameka, um uh, Nab no was it Nab no no this is this is Nab Nobo. by this church but yeah but thanks for the the uh, tip anyway though I always take it as a positive sure as I as I just explained why I do what I do the way I do it it's just it's not it's not me taking it as a negative I always take it as a positive. You take it as a negative, you're just feeding in the negative energy, you're putting back negative energy, feeding that negative energy to your, your fan base, your viewers, if you're spewing it in the video. But like I said, I know nobody's perfect. I don't, I'm not, I don't claim to be. Sometimes it happens, people piss you off. You get in the heat of the moment and you start spewing it right then and there. Like, man, especially when they cheat. Woo! I know, you just can't help it when you face a, a cheater. Cheat. God, cheating in a video game. It's like cheat. Cheat to get ahead in life. You know what I mean? Cheat to get ahead in life. I, I think one of my friends used to say that back in the day. We used to play like. Like, uh, we used to play Call of Duty, Red Dead Redemption, the first Red Dead Redemption. It's like, cheat cheat to get a hit in life. Why cheat on a math test? I mean, I'm sorry, why cheat in a video game? He would say, cheat on a math test. Cheat to get a hit in life. Cheat, cheat on a math test. At least you're getting a hit in life. Be like he'd be like, you like cheat on math test. Get ahead of the class. You, you cheat. You get ahead of the class. You're getting ahead in life. Sometimes you got to bend the rules a bit. And wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, well, sometimes you do. Sometimes. Oh, oh, we got to bend the rules a bit. Oh, okay. I'm going to do that in a video game next time I face you. Hey, you do, you do, you do, do, do you, man. Do, 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 dee, dee. I started there. I was like, do, hey, you do, 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 <laughs> Oh, no. They got nothing to do with it. I'm just rambling on. But. It is what it is. I guess uh, they'd say, that, hey, you need to offer, you need to ramble on in, in all your videos, not just DayZ. And that's true. But as I explained earlier, I don't know what it is. Just can't really do it, rambling on. Check this shack back here. 
All right, check this greenhouse. Check the haunter store. Be careful because you can wind up aggroing the whole entire map. That's it, just shoes. What is that? 308 rounds. And I'm going to stop it here for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel and see you grow. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.